What is up guys, it's your boy Retro X Reflex with my first Modern Warfare video. Um, I'm just gonna be giving you guys my first impressions, how I think the game plays, how I feel about it, uh, how I think it's gonna be moving forward and all that. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start with the gameplay. So first of all, I didn't run into much lag, maybe a game or two, but it only lasted for a little bit. Um, the hit registration in this game is very good. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's very good. Your bullets are actually going where you're shooting, which is nice. Uh, I know past cards haven't been like this, so thank God for that, right? Gun variety, uh, we'll talk about it more in the customization, but gun variety is very good. Uh, a lot, like, especially at the beginning of the game, usually there's only some guns that are very effective. In this game, uh, I enjoyed a lot of guns. I enjoyed the starting assault rifle, which is the Kilo 141. That one was okay. I don't really like uh, semi-automatic rifles, so the FAL was in my ting, but it could be very effective. M4 was good. I uh, had the the FAMAS was very, very nice. Reminds me of the Modern Warfare 2 FAMAS. Very good gun. Odin, I'm not really a big fan of the bullpup rifles, but maybe some people might like that. M13 I just unlocked, very good. Scar, I just took in, I unlocked. Um, actually, no, I haven't unlocked it, my bad. But uh, Scar could probably be very effective. Uh, with AK, looks very effective as well. And uh, some machine rifles, you know, you got the AUG, very good gun. MP5 is very good. P90 is very good as well. Uzi looks pretty good. PP I haven't used. MP7 is probably good. Shotgun wise, uh, the bear, like the shotguns have very good range this time, so they are a good look. Uh, the double barrel is good. The 680 is very good. The other two, I uh, haven't used them too much, but uh, I used them a bit in the 2v2s, so they weren't that fun to use, but. Who knows, maybe I'm just bad with them. Marksman Rifle, guys. MK2 Carbine, amazing gun. My buddy uh, put me onto this gun. It's very good. If you are, if you have amazing accuracy, this is the gun for you. Definitely recommend that. There's the car. Snipers, uh, not a big fan of the snipers, but the AX50 is probably my favorite. Uh, and then you have a riot shield here. Secondary wise, you just have pistols and a few launchers. I, let me know if you can use a Kimball in this game, because I really want to unlock that. But enough with the guns, um, there's a lot of variety is what I'm saying at the beginning of the game, which is nice. And you know they're going to keep adding more guns, so that's very nice. Nothing seems too overpowered as well, so that's very good. Only thing is the Claymores. Um, Claymores are a bit OP. I know they updated it, so you can see the lasers mo uh, better, more clearly, but it's still... They gotta, they gotta fix the range, the damage radius, cause the blast radius, it's too big. Like you, like you can usually, if you see, you can move into it and then back up and it will blow up and you'll be fine. But this year, not really, uh, they really gotta fix, you just gotta fix the uh, blast radius. That's all you gotta do. And you and, and we're good, we're Gucci. Uh, like I said, re hit registration is pretty good. The time to kill, um, it's pretty fast, especially if you get those headshots, it's pretty fast. Um, with pistols, it takes a long time to kill people. It takes like four or five, three to four hits maybe. But the time to kill is not too bad. It, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, the only Okay, so everyone's talking about how this game favors campers. This is true. Um, I feel like as time goes on, it's going to get less and less of that. They already did a little thing in the patch where they made uh people in the shadows more visible which is a good first step and honestly guys with multiplayer games this is just the way it's gonna be all multiplayer games if someone can abuse a mechanic it's kind of hard to change someone not moving at all right like it's very hard to change that um only thing i could see them they could have done better is maybe when you have a uav and you're sitting in the same place you'll pop up on the radar even if you have a ghost that's the only thing I could see. Um, the whole, you know, the, the, the whole mini-map controversy, controversy thing. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. I think adding a mini-map does... I don't know. I feel like I'd rather what I had if they didn't have it at all. Because even if someone shoots in this game, they won't appear on the mini-map. Even if they don't have a suppressor. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I would have liked to seen it not in any game modes unless you have a UAV 
and makes you more focused on the actual gameplay instead of looking at the top left of your screen the whole time, you know? It makes you more focused on what's actually going on, more immersive. Uh, that's just my opinion though about that. But I don't, I'm not too mad that it's in. I know having, maybe some people will be more campy, not having a minimap, being more careful, but in multiplayer games, people are always gonna camp. There's not much you can really do about it. Uh, but if you want to play a game that's not much camping, play Headquarters. That game, me and my friends were playing. More, uh, everyone, more people were running around, so definitely play that game mode if uh, you want to see less camping. TDM is the worst for camping. If you hate camping, just don't even play TDM. Uh, I'm not saying every game is terrible, but some people take it to the next level. Um, well, can I talk about the gameplay? Movement is very good. Um, I feel like sprinting. I think you have unlimited sprints, so that's very good. So happy about that. I hate just having a perk just so I can sprint, just so I can get back into the action. Tactical sprint is amazing. Uh, you can't use it for too long, but especially when you spawn, you can get back into the action much quicker. Very, very good. Very happy about this. I was going off this game, guys. And I have a chopper gun in the back pocket. So when I pull that out, it gets nasty. Uh, talking about chopper guns and whatever, kill streaks. I like the kill streaks. Um, they don't stack. So if you get a kill in your precision airstrike, you will not, uh, it will not go towards you getting a chopper gun. But there is a perk called, let me pull it up quickly here, called kill chain. So it does, uh, you know, your kill streaks do stack. So you get a precision airstrike kill, you get two of them, it will, uh, you'll be at eight kill, you'll be at an eight kill streak. So I like how they have a perk for that. So I really do like that. And, uh, it's only kills, there's no uh, point streaks, but there is a perk that turns your kill streaks into score streaks. So, um, I do like that as well. It takes a perk to use, so I really do like that. And these perks, most, this, this uh, the perk 2, they're both in the perk 2 slot, so you can't have ghosts while using these. So, that's a big plus. I'm really happy about that. And you can have hardline as well as having these, so they're all in the same slot. So, that's really good. The perk 2 slot is probably the have the highest the best perks in my opinion. But perk one does have cold blooded. We'll talk about more about that later. But yeah, kill streaks. I like the kill streaks, a lot of variety. Uh let me pull up the kill streaks. So you got counter UAVs, uh and UAVs at four, which is really nice. Um not everyone's gonna be just getting a UAV with hardline all the time. Cluster strike, I haven't much, I don't like the precision airstrikes because you have to pull out binoculars to actually use it. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, instead of just having like a laptop because you're putting yourself in danger, but maybe it makes it more challenging. VTOLs are very nice, they're basically harriers and you can direct, you can change the location of where they're positioned at, which is really nice. Chopper gunners are fun, they got the rockets, which is um, like you just saw, so fun to use. Having got a support helo, can't really talk about that too much. Gunship is very OP, I can tell you that. Advanced UAV, I need to see how long it lasts. I haven't used it. So, but if it's just like the Blackbird, which I think it is, it's gonna be very nice. And you have the Juggernaut kill streak. Haven't seen it, I used it, but it um, looks very fun to use. And then when you die, the mini good gun will drop. So someone else can pick it up or you can pick it up again. So that's very nice that they added all that. Okay guys, now I'm going to be talking about the playlist, so there's a lot of different variety, uh, they just added this TDM 20, so this is pretty cool, I ho it should be better for the larger maps, uh, but they need to have an option to separate 6v6 and 10v10, they had it in the beta, I don't understand why they don't have it in the main game, you have to, uh, we don't want, I don't want to play 10v10 maps, I'd rather just play 6v6, um, just have the option in there, it can't be that hard, uh, it can't be that hard. Just put it in the game. Please. Please put it in the game. Uh, they said they took out Aaliyah, please, for 10v10. They did not. Maybe they just did. But as of me, from the 26th and before, they did not uh, remove it. It's still in the playlist. That map is just way too big. It takes me 30 seconds just to get to the palace. Uh, that's way too long to get into the action. Come on now. Uh, please remove that. From that playlist, uh, they lied, they did not remove it. <clears throat> Other than that though, 
Uh, there's a lot of variety. Obviously, all the different game modes, they had that from before. But the 2v2s adds that, you know, eSports level of competition, which is very nice. Um, also, they uh, they have the Groundwork experience. So, you Battlefield uh, Battlefield fan, this Groundwork is very, very fun to play. I'm not a big Battlefield guy. I don't, I'd rather have the smaller map, 6v6. But, I really, I can appreciate it. Uh, having all the vehicles, it's very fun to play in the squad of four. You have to play with your friends. It's very, very fun to play, guys. So I'm glad they have that. Um, so let's move on to the customization and whatever. The balance. So there's a lot in this game for gun-wise. You can customize your, guys, your guns however you want. Look at all this. You can add five different attachments. And yeah, like, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. What is, what am I... Oh, okay, so it actually tells you where you're gonna lock next. That's cool. <clears throat> There's a lot you can upgrade, guys. Uh, you got the muzzles, barrel, laser, uh, the sights. Look at all these sights in the game. You got the stock. You got perks. So you can add a three burst uh, to your to the M4, and you can add you know slide of hand. <clears throat> you got different grips, different types of ammunition, even under barrels. So this means no one's guns are gonna be the same unless you guys you know are looking at a build. But lots of variety, very nice. I love this, especially picking up other people's guns. A lot of variety. Um, and yeah, it should keep the game fresh uh, and, you know, expand the longevity. Just because you can put different things, uh, different. There's going to be a lot of different tactics. Just the fact you can put a burst on almost any gun is very cool. Should, uh, you know, expand the variety. Variety is great, guys. As long as not, and all of these are not too overpowered. Uh, they do have nuke tubes, but I do not think they're that big of a deal right now. They're not too effective, so that's good. I did get a direct impact with uh, one of them, which was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, like I said, lots of variety. Very good. And then if you go to the customization here, like, oh my god, guys, look at all these camos. Like, just for this section alone, there's so much. You know, the spray paint. I didn't even see this completionist here. Goddamn. But, uh, you got the skulls. And this unlocks at level 71, guys. i am been playing with this gun a lot. I'm only level 39. There's so much to do to unlock. And on top of all of that, you can you can change the reticle. That was there before. You can add a charm. I believe they do this for Rainbow Six uh, Siege. So that's very nice to have. You get those by unlocking challenges. And you can add a sticker on your gun, which is pretty good. You can have multiple stickers on your gun, which is very cool. I love this. Customization, put you in control, change your gun however you like. Love it, love it, love it. Um, also, there's a lot of there's some things that can counter some stuff. Remember, I was saying the claimers are very OP. Uh, they have their own blast shield in this game. EOD uh, it reduces non kill streak explosives. Very nice to have. So you can counter those uh, claimers if you are getting annoyed. Uh, people are saying there's not enough. There is not enough. Um, bullets to start off with right like and they don't want to put on scavenger well guess what if you go to perks some of these perks they have fully loaded so it started with maximum reserve ammo very very nice i love it um you know if you have a problem you can fix it it may not come at a cost of something but that just invites balance right and i don't think anything's too op at the moment and now i'm going to talk about Future content, so they said there's going to be no loot boxes, which is very nice, but there's going to probably be a battle pass of some sorts, because uh, they want to monetize the game. I don't know how I feel about it, we got to wait and see. Right now, it's perfect without any monetization, but I know they're going to come and release some nonsense to us. Hopefully, you know, you get the battle pass for free, and you can pay if you want to level it up faster. If it comes to that, that's fine, as long as you give us enough XP and challenges to level up to the max without paying. If you want to get the level 100 battle pass rank immediately to pay for it, go ahead, that's fine, whatever. I know some people will, they want to make videos about it, what, uh, they just want it, they have bare guap to drop on the game, fine. But, don't make it a must. If they do it like that, that's fine, as long as you give us ample time to complete it by playing the game regularly. Uh, completing the challenges, going out of a way to do the challenges, uh, we can unlock it regularly. That is fine. That is okay. I have no problem with that. 
uh, they need to drop some content and they need to drop some maps i know it's early there's only four there's only five or six six v six maps man like come on you need more than that you need at least eight and even then i feel like a game should have eight or ten like you need more than that uh you need more than five or six that six is not enough you need to add two more i don't care some of them are night maps that's a cop out it's the same map just different con weather conditions that's not a new map to me you need more maps please you, they have to release a map or two within a month or two or else you know it, we're gonna get bored of these maps we're just gonna get bored and other than that guys i think that's it for my review of uh my first not review first impressions uh game has a lot of promise i'm really liking it loving what you can do with all your guns it's so fun to play with with friends brings me back to the old days i'm a big i started off with modern warfare 2 and uh i skipped all the the whole jetpack era wasn't really a fan of that uh ghost was the after before what was before ghost i think black ops 3 even black ops 3 i didn't play that much ghost that was a stinker and after that i didn't really play i played black ops 4 a little bit it was fun but uh this i think is a return to form it's about time i'm very excited for it nukes are back i'm very excited for all of this guys we're gonna be uploading more frequently of, uh, for cod we're gonna be focusing on fifa and call of duty please let me know if you enjoyed drop a thumbs up subscribe for more content and i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace